Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be focusing mainly on this second uh, CBX engine, uh, getting it prepared to paint, get it, getting it painted and remounted onto this frame. And then that way I can catch this second bike up uh, to the uh, first one that uh, my, early my earlier videos what I'm referring to as my Left for Dead CBX, and so that they can both be caught up. And also, I wanted to uh, point out that, uh, you know, please go and check out my uh, Camaro videos, my 69 Camaro Z28 restoration videos as well. So anyway, back to the CBX. Um, uh, also, I wanted to point out that I'm going to be uh, cleaning up this CB400 uh, Hawk uh, it's only got 900 original miles on it. I got it from the original owner. I'm going to be cleaning that up and selling it. I'm going to be restoring that 1100F in the background and the 900F there too. That 900F only has 5,300 miles on it. And uh, all three of those bikes are going to be for sale. So if anyone's interested, just let me know. Um, you know, email me. I have my email and my comments down below. So uh, anyway, back to this engine. Uh, this video is going to mainly be focused on uh, getting it, like I said before, getting it caught up. Um, and this first part of the video here, you'll see I'm going to just kind of rush through it. Uh, um, I'm adjusting the valves after I've installed the cam and the cams and the, the valves and all that in the head. And uh, um, if you want to see a, a fully detailed uh, video on adjusting the valves, just check out my previous video that I did on that. So at this point, after the valves are adjusted, um, I'm going to focus mainly on how to prepare the engine to paint. Now, this engine was in pretty good condition uh, before, so uh, the existing or the, the original factory paint on, the, on this engine is in pretty good condition after I cleaned it all up. So it's going to really need minimal uh, preparation uh, to paint it. So, And what I do is I paint the uh, valve cover. If the valve cover is in pretty good condition like this one is, um, I go ahead and, and put the valve cover on the engine like I'm doing here and uh, with no gasket because the gasket is real thick black and you want that black to, uh, to show. Uh, you don't want it to be painted silver. So um, I'm just showing here how I, how I tape it up, tape up the holes so that the, the paint doesn't go down inside. And then I put old spark plugs in that I don't care about and uh, to cover up the uh, spark plug holes. And then after the engine's painted, then I'll replace those uh, spark plugs, of course. So, uh, and then on the exhaust ports, I just ball up blue tape and stick it in there. And uh, just loosely, it doesn't really matter. Uh, even if paint got in there, it would burn off immediately. So uh, I just kind of put it in there to keep the paint out of there. Um, Again, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to burn off two minutes after you start the engine off, but uh, I still plug them up anyway. <clears throat> and then uh, once that's done, then I just go ahead and start kind of covering up uh, any exposed internals of the engine, you know, like here on the, uh, on the oil filter. You don't really want paint in there because it might flake off or bunch up and get into the oil. So... You just want to kind of cover that up. And you know what I do on the blue tape is I just kind of put it on there. I uh, uh, rub the edges, get the sharp edges. Then I just take a razor blade and just uh, quickly um, trim it around. And again, you know, these, these edges uh, are mostly covered up anyway by, like in this case, the oil filter and so on. So... Um, you know, the, the video is just kind of showing my method of how I tape things up and, and so on. So uh, once all the tape is done, then I'll pull it outside and, and put some paint on it. Now, again, this engine was in really good shape, and there's a lot of really good original paint on it. 
So I'm really just kind of fogging over it to brighten it up a little bit and cover up any of the scuff marks or whatever. So um, it really doesn't need a lot of a lot of touch up on the paint. So and again, here I'm covering up any of the internal portions of the engine and uh, just like before, I kind of rub the edges, get them nice and get the tape real creased around there and then just take a razor blade and trim around there quickly. And again, the cover is going to cover up any detail that's missed. And then on the uh, some of the covers, like the clutch cover, I leave that on there for now. And then I just kind of tape it up. And uh, that way I don't have to worry about getting any paint inside. And then after the engine's painted, then I'll remove this clutch cover and polish it up and so on like I uh, have featured in a previous video. And, you know, I just load up the blue tape on there. It's so much easier, and, and uh, you want a nice, firm coverage while you're painting because, you know, chances are you're going to take it outside. The wind might be blowing, or, you know, the paint. Uh, if you use, like, a, a, a paint gun with air pressure or whatever, it, it, it's not going to blow, blow it off like it would if you did it with paper. So I always just load it up with blue tape because then I then it's on there very securely. And any of the engine covers that need to be painted separately, I pull off like I just showed you there. So once the engine's all taped up and ready to go, then I just kind of pull it outside. And in this case, like I said, I'm just kind of fogging over the engine really with a rattle can. So that's going to do it for this short video on getting the engine uh, prepared to paint and painted. So uh, please stay tuned for the next video. In a couple of days, I'll be getting the engine back in the frame and then uh, continuing on with both bikes at the same time. So as usual, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and then hit the bell for uh, post notifications for future videos. So uh, thank you again, and we'll see you soon.